We're back again with another payment integration video and this time again with Cybersource Gateway, we're going to be implementing their unified checkout solution. This JavaScript library lets you add Apple Pay, Google Pay, Clickty Pay to your website with one integration, saving you a ton of effort with implementing each payment method one by one. So I know it's going to be a lot of help for you guys, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, so as always, we have a demo of the final result of what we're trying to implement here. This is our old Microform integration that we did a few videos ago. And all we did here is we just added alternative payment methods onto that page. So instead of just supporting card payments, now we support Click to Pay, Google Pay, and Apple Pay. I'm using Chrome, so Apple Pay is not showing up. But if I open the same page here on Safari, we'll see the Apple Pay button. There you go. And when you click on it, you'll get the Apple Pay prompt. Let's try Google Pay as well here. You hit Google Pay, it asks you to confirm your card, you hit continue. It generates a token and then performs the payment and then you get redirected to the result page. That's all. Same experience will be with Apple Pay and Click to Pay as well too. So let's jump into this and start implementing it from the scratch. The payment page that only has card, regular card acceptance on it and we're going to add Apple Pay, Google Pay, Click to Pay right under it here. So the first step will be to set up your payment methods from your Subresource merchant portal. This is mine, log into it. Once you log in here on the left side menu, you're gonna find an option called payment configuration. Click on that, then click on Unified Checkout. And right here, you're gonna see digital payment solutions. Click Manage, and then here you're gonna see Apple Pay, Google Pay, Click to Pay. So you're gonna go ahead and set them up one by one. Click Manage next to Google, enter your business name, then hit Submit. Same thing with uh, Click to Pay, except you also gotta enter your URL as well. Now for Apple Pay, it needs a little more work. So here in the Apple Pay uh, setup page, you need to click on this to download the Apple Pay certificate that you're gonna host on your website. And then you need to host it on your website at this directory so that Apple verifies that you actually own the website. So let's go ahead and do that. We can simply do that by just deploying our website as it is to our domain with the certificate in there. So here in my project, my React project, I got a folder called deploy. I'm just gonna build my React project with this command. And then I'm gonna take the build files and I'm using Firebase hosting for the hosting. So I just gotta copy paste everything here. And I gotta make sure my certificate is in there as well. So here in public, well known, my certificate is already there. I just dragged it right here. And this is an invisible directory, so you won't be able to see it on Finder or your file explorer if you're using Windows. Anyways, so you gotta now deploy this to your domain. For me, because I'm using Firebase hosting, it's gonna be like this. That's it. Now, if you revisit our website, it's not gonna have anything except this card form. To confirm that the certificate is set up correctly, just visit the domain of the certificate. So slash dot well known, and then slash that certificate file name. And then, if you have set it up correctly, you'll be able to see this. That's it for the setting up the Apple Pay. Now, once you've done that, take your domain name, go back here, click on verify domain, enter your domain name, without the slash, hit verify, and it's gonna say verify successfully. Now you can use Apple Pay there. Okay, so that's for the setup. Now for the next step, we need to, we're gonna be using this API call to generate the capture context. You hit send and you generate the capture context. That's it, pretty much simple. You need to supply the amount currency, some configuration as per your preference, your country, your locale, your allowed payment methods. Now, this can also support just regular card entry, but because I already have that on my website, I just need it for the Apple Pay, Google Pay, Click to Pay enablement, so I just have those here. If you want to support regular card entry using this solution as well, you just type pan entry. But I don't need this. I just need the wallets. Visa MasterCard, and then here you gotta make sure you have your domain name. Make sure there's no slash like this at the end, otherwise your request is gonna get rejected. Okay, so my first step is gonna be implementing this on my server side. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, like I always say, the nice thing about Cybersource APIs is that once you implemented one, you can easily just copy paste to implement the others. So in my previous videos, I implemented this create form API. I'm just gonna copy the code for it. Put it here, make sure I have installed my dependencies. 
Now here I gotta change a few things, like the name of this API, like the data of the API. I'm just gonna copy paste it from here from Postman. And the request path. Okay, and this should be all. So let's test this out. And it's working okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this to production. And then the next step will be to use this in my client side to set up the JavaScript library. All right, now we can start working on implementing that endpoint on the client side. So you wanna do this in use effect. This is where we are. This is where we're setting up the JavaScript library for the microform here. I'm gonna also use use effect here to call the API that I just deployed and set up the library for a unified checkout wallet. So to do that, I could copy the same code that I used in my, in my microform video with some slight changes. So here, I just copied it. I'm gonna call it setup wallets. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this endpoint that I just deployed. Pass it the amount in the currency. And then what this is gonna do is that it's gonna call this API and then pass it this information. And the response for this API will be this JWT string. And then we're gonna take this and what's happening here is that we do code that string to get the client, uh, to get the JavaScript library URL and the, Java and the JavaScript library integrity string. Here's what that JWT decoded looks like. It looks like this. It's gonna contain the same request, but most importantly, uh, here at client library, it's gonna give you the library for the JavaScript for the JavaScript library, which we then store in these two variables here. And then after we use that information to dynamically create the script HTML tag and add it to our React.js project. Although here, this code is for the microphone, we gotta get rid of it. But this is exactly how we're creating the, the script HTML component and adding it to the, our React project. We just build it, we add, we add it to the head, we set the type, we say that it's asynchronous, this is the URL here, this is the integrity hash here, and so on. I know this because I got all of this from, from the unified checkout guide here under client side setup. It's gonna tell you how to load the JavaScript library, which is, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. So we copy all of that, and then we gotta call that method setup wallets, of course. And here we need to actually call the library after we load it, so to do that, Go here into the guide, go here into adding the payment application, and you'll see here some code. You can just copy that. Go back here under unscript unload, and here you're gonna pass your token that you got from the server. Make sure it says window between before accept. Now here you wanna say false if you wanna embed it into your website. Otherwise it's gonna otherwise it's gonna open a drawer from the right side of the page to display the wallets. We don't want that. We just wanna embed it in our page. So you just make sure here you have false. Here's where you get the transient token after the payment is complete. Here, instead of just sending it somewhere, I'm just gonna lock it for you guys for the purpose of the tutorial. This gets called when you get an error. Now you also need to create dev that will contain these two over here. And you're gonna do that under your pay button. Now let's refresh the page to see if this thing works. Now, to know if it's working, I don't expect the... Oh, I forgot something. I have an auth form here. Oh, I forgot to remove this. Because that's not defined in my code. So I don't expect this to work, but at least it should say that... It should say that the library is loading, but it's not mounting because the URL is different, which is exactly what it says here. So here it says that it refused to frame, it refused to embed itself into the page because I'm on a local host and it's expecting us to be on um, this domain name. So this means... This means that I've loaded the library successfully, but on the wrong domain. So now I have to deploy it. Now I have to deploy it to my website for it to work. So let's do that. Build the project. And then deploy. All right, now let's try it. There we go. Now it's working. This is how to implement the JavaScript library. I'm gonna try a payment, see if, it, uh, if the token actually prints out here successfully. So let's record, continue. Now we should see the transient token printed out on the console. There you go. Now, all I gotta do is just take this and then send it for a payment request, such as this one. This is the same payment request that we used for the microphone video. Just send it, 
and you will get authorized here. That means the payment is successful. That leads us to our next step and the last step, which is to implement this payment API request and then send the token that we get to the server for payment. So now for that, all I gotta do is just implement this on my server side and I'm gonna implement it here. So implementing this is gonna be simple. All I gotta do is just copy one of my requests that I already worked on and then paste it here. Make sure your dependencies are installed. Now let's change this into a payment request. Okay, we're almost there. So I'm getting the amount and the currency and the token from the client side. I just need to generate a random reference number uh, for the request. I'm just gonna grab this code from ChatGPT and use it. And that should be all. Now we, just, we can go ahead and test this. Okay, to test this, we need to create a new token and use it in our request. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another Google Pay token here. Okay, just grab the token and, and go to Postman, paste it here, and let's try and send the payment. Well, look at that, the payment is successful. So this is good. Now we can go ahead and deploy it to production and then use it in our client side. Cool, and why, while that is deploying, let's go ahead and prepare our client side to accept that token. So what we gotta do is that after we get the token from here, under accept, we need to send that token that we get uh, for payment using the API request that we built. So I actually already have this built here. Under microform, pay button clicked. I had to build the same request for the pre for a previous microphone video right here it's the same exact thing i just gotta put my endpoint that i just deployed right here also this payment api can only be accessed by this uh, microform code when the pay button is clicked to make it used by the wallets too i need to put it in a separate method outside the pay button clicked method Like this and this method will be called by the microform when the microform generates its own transient token and also by the unified checkout library when our wallet is used so i'm going to use it here under on load under accept here i'm going to print out the token the transient token and also use it for the payment like this and my endpoint for the payment got deployed right here and i can go ahead and use it in that method so this is going to send the payment and then after the payment is done it's going to redirect to the result page just like it does for the microform integration from the previous video all right that should be all now let's try and test this i'm again building this react project and then deploying it to my hosting Okay, back to it. Now let's go ahead and test every payment method that we implemented here, starting with uh, Google Pay. All right, looks like Google Pay is working. Now let's try Click to Pay. Now for Click to Pay, because this is sandbox environment, it's gonna ask me to enroll my card uh, in Click to Pay, like a first time user experience. But in production, when I'm using this, it's not going to do that. It's just going to show me the card that I used previously in click to pay And I could just pay with that right away with an OTP verification. But just to show that it works, here it is. And that's successful click to pay payment. Now, I can't show you Apple Pay from here, from Chrome. I got to show it to you from an Apple device uh, that is signed in using my sandbox account so i am signed in on my on my iphone here using my apple sandbox developer account and i can test apple pay here on my phone so i'm going to show you the view from my phone how apple pay looks like when you use it here so let's switch over to the phone view this is what it looks like on the iphone it's a bit blurry but you can kind of see it and my reflection there here you pay with apple pay and then it's gonna be success and then it does the same thing it redirects to the result page 
And of course, let's not forget regular payment with our regular card, so we can do that too also. And that works too. So that's all. This is how to add Apple Pay, Google Pay, and click to pay and regular payment on your payment page using CyberSource Unified Checkout JavaScript library, all in one integration. That's it for today. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave questions in the uh, in the comment in, in the comments below. I'll link all the documentations for this uh, in the description box below. And if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, and if you want to get the full source code for this video, check out our Patreon link below. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.